In your paper, uh, The Problem of Evolution in America, you mm -hmm. argue that the acceptance of evolution may have to wait for a profound social change. Mm -hmm. um, do you really think that there's nothing that uh, we in the skeptic community can do uh, to help um, to help maybe get things moving along as far as getting people to accept evolution? Well, yeah, I mean, there are. I'm, I'm teaching evolution as one. And I've met several people, even at this conference, two Orthodox Jews, for example, who became converted to evolution just simply by learning them the facts. They decided they needed to be able to debate the issue, and they had to see what the other side was, and when they saw the other side was much stronger than theirs, they eventually embraced evolution. That led to them giving up their Judaism. So education is useful. Um, that's one thing. The other thing is you know, getting rid of religion as far as we can, or at least those kinds of religion which are opponents to evolution, um, which are m many of them. <laughs> um, and many of us, like the Dawkins Foundation, are working towards that goal. Um, and that's useful as well. Um, but ultimately, I think the one, you know, these are fighting brush fires. I mean, you'll make a few converts through education. Um, you'll make a few converts by bashing religion, but ultimately, what are the root causes that people are religious? That's what we need to attack. And I've always thought that, you know, there's a reason why America is so much more religious than other first world countries. If you look at Scandinavia, France, Germany, those countries, um, they're largely atheistic, whereas America, 95% of people believe in God. And why is that? Um, you have to figure out those reasons, and if you can figure out those reasons, then you can get do something about it. And I'm pretty convinced that those reasons are socioeconomic ones. So ultimately, if you want to dispel religion, you have to fix society in a way that makes religion no longer a social necessity, which means income inequality, uh, medical care for everybody, less incarceration, less drug use, all these things that sociologists use as in this use of, of sick societies, and we're pretty sick as a society. Oh, absolutely. Um, but you know, I mean, my goal now is not just to have evolution taught, and then you have this complicated thing to, to have evolution accepted, we have to fix society. <laughs> there are many more benefits to getting rid of evolution than simply having people accept, uh, sorry, getting rid of religion and having people accept evolution. Um, creationism is only the mildest symptom of religion, oh, sure. as I think everybody probably agrees. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, uh, the, the violence that, that's rampant throughout many parts of the yeah. world. And, uh, even recently, maybe you know not real recently, but uh, at least recently for me, it was the uh, conflict in Ireland between yeah, them. yeah, and I mean that in terms of my life is only recently kind of ended and is starting to to change over there. So yeah, it is a mild form as far as yeah, and the uh, conflict that persists in the Middle East. Oh sure, um, all the things that the Catholic Church does in America: pr pro prohibition of abortion, subjugation of women, which is characteristic of almost every religion. Um, all that stuff would go away if scripture went away. I mean, not completely, but sure. it would mitigate considerably. So, you know, I realized that, you know, by getting rid of religion or mitigating religion, which will ameliorate creationism in America, we're going to have so many other side benefits that it's just worth doing this now. So, you know, there's a, people often tell me, well, you know, religion isn't the cause of all the world's problems. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, sure, but if we got rid of it, then we could deal with the other 5%. Yeah. I'm not sure <laughs> what the 95.5 is the right parsing, but I agree. It's, uh, it's caused a lot of the world's problems, and it's going to be a cause of more problems if we don't do something about it.